I have not even been to the model table yet this morning. I checked my comments and uh, the most recent comment I got says, Ron, where's my comment? And uh, you know, it was kind of funny because I had a faint recollection of seeing a comment earlier from Sergey, and uh, then all of a sudden it disappeared. I did before I had a chance to reply to it. Now, uh, when you send me a comment in, in YouTube, I also get it in my email. So I went into my email and I checked what, what was this comment from Sergey. And, uh, and yeah, it, it just wasn't in YouTube anymore, so I couldn't reply to it. Um, so uh, then I f as I was going through, I thought I'll check all of my YouTube, my emails rather. And so as I was going through my emails, I see there's another one from Mark. And I, and, and I don't remember seeing that one either in YouTube. So uh, I have concluded uh, that, that what YouTube has just started to do, that any comment that contains a link or a URL to another video or anything like that, for some reason, it's blocking it. Now, I don't know if YouTube is going to continue to do this. Does this mean uh, that, that in the past, when I have sent replies back to you that contained URLs or links to other videos, you didn't get it? I don't know. I think this must be a new thing. Uh, it, it, just, it just started today because <laughs> I know in the past I've got links from you guys. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's what happened there. And it's nothing personal. If, you're, if your comment did not uh, show up, it's not because I'm, uh, you know, mad at you or anything like that. It's, uh, it's just, uh, it's a new thing with YouTube here. Anyway, let's get to the model table. Okay, enough about comments and uh, emails and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, yesterday when I was uh, messing around here with my new glue, uh, I was taking a terrible chance when I was working over, holding it over top of the deck here and squeezing. I mean, what if all of a sudden whatever was blocking inside there let go? Now, there's a couple of things that I have uh, found out from the comments, and that is, first of all, just to, to remove this part right here, this yellow, this yellow thing, it is apparently reverse thread. So in other words, to loosen it, you have to tighten it. So I think I'm going to try that first. Maybe what I'll do is I'll reposition here so that we're a little closer to everything. Now, before I try to screw the cap off here by turning it to the right instead of the left, and I haven't tried it yet, I just want to show again what, what I had noticed yesterday and that is, uh, you remember I was trying to put this wire down down inside and uh, and I went quite a ways down here now it comes up to something that is what you might say fairly solid Okay, now I'm going to just go down on the wire, squeeze, pull it out. Now, now this is how far down the wire went. And, and it made me think that possibly there was something I had to, I had to uh, cut off on the inside. Because, uh, you know, <laughs> well, it went all the way down the needle pretty well. Um, now, let's just see what will happen here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to put this back on here. I don't think I need to, but uh, now if we turn it to the right, it should unscrew. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's just see what, what it looks like here. Okay. All right, let's put it back on. Okay, to you viewers who mentioned it was reverse thread, thank you, because I would have never, ever thought of that. I wonder why it's reverse thread. Um, now, how do I get the, you know, it, it, it almost looks like this is supposed to come off. And I, I, I tried to get it off yesterday, but maybe if I got a little screwdriver and wedged it off. Let's try that. Okay. 
Okay. No, that's that's really on there. Um, all right, there there was one other thing. <clears throat> Several people said that this this needle will will pull out of here, and so if I pull it out, I should be able to shove a pin down inside and puncture whatever's whatever's blocking. Right? There we go. All right, let's see if we can figure out what's going on down there. I got a needle or something, or maybe a little drill bit. I'm just going to uh, turn the camera off for a minute here while I try and remember where I put my little drill bits. Okay, this uh, wire, as you can see, it just goes all the way through. So there is there was no blockage in our little tube. Now our little tube. Don't want to squash it here. It's uh, it's about thirty four thousandths OD, and um, this bit is thirty three. Um, okay, uh, I can't talk and work at the same time, right? Now we should be able to just very carefully just go right down inside there. Oh, by the way, once again, I did try to screw this this yellow cap off, uh, and it just it just doesn't want to come, and I, I don't know why. Okay. Well, we're getting something there. Guess I better wipe this off. I don't think there's a, a right way or a wrong way to shove this on. All right, let's uh, just for the fun of it, get a, a uh, microscope slide and just see what the viscosity is of this. Okay, clearly this is is not a uh, microscope slide. This is a that plastic part from the uh, practice meal that Tony sent us a couple of years ago. I'm just uh, rubbing off the plastic here to make sure that it's that it's bare. All right, now my plan is to put some of this uh, glue right right here and see how is it going to react with the plastic probably put on more than I need I'm going to be careful not to waste this this is obviously the the uh, small size um, I'm just going to sort of do a little bit of a time lapse here right now Okay, I'm guessing that probably about five minutes has passed here now. And my plan is to see if the if the glue softened the plastic or or what has happened here. Like is is this sort of hard now? Or or what? It um it still looks liquidy to me, but we're gonna find out right now. Well, you know what? Uh, it, it feels like it may have softened the plastic. Why don't we just take a, a paper towel here and just wipe that off and, uh, and see what does the plastic look like. Oh yeah. Okay. So it does sort of dissolve the plastic. Uh, yeah, it does. You can you can sort of see the uh, <laughs> it's little tiny threads there. That'd make uh, if a person could salvage that kind of stuff. That'd make really good fine wire on a 700 scale model, Peter. <laughs> now I have spent the last I'm guessing close to two hours sitting in front of the computer editing out 
all the last few scenes there. And you might be thinking, well, my goodness, two hours to edit out, you know, ten minutes worth of film or video. And, uh, well, well, yeah, because when I get messing around with time lapse and uh, syncing up, you know, different scenes all together, it, it takes a lot longer than normal. And somebody might say, well, then, Ron, why bother doing it? And and the reason I do it is because I really enjoy doing that. I actually enjoy doing the videoing and editing and so on as much as building the model. I was going to say more than, but I don't think so. But while, while I was doing that, I, I have a hard time getting onto the subject, don't I? While I was doing that, I was thinking about the fact that that this thing was reverse thread. Why is it reverse thread? Well... I came to the conclusion while I was sitting there looking at my own video that the reason it is reverse thread is because this this top part is supposed to screw off. Now and it's supposed to screw off the normal way. Now the idea is that because it's 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 the first one is reverse thread, it tightens when you when you screw this one off. Okay, in other words, I, I I'm almost positive that this part here is supposed to come off. Okay, now why don't I just try and put a little piece of rubber on there so it'll sort of grab on and then very carefully here with my pliers, I, I haven't tried this yet so I, I don't know, uh, let, let's just see if this is going to screw off here. Okay, I'm going to grip, grip hold of it and I don't want to twist the whole neck off. Well, I was twisting pretty hard. <clears throat> you know what? I am almost positive that this this uh, this piece here is supposed to come off and and separate from the from the inside one. But I think maybe what has happened is it has glued itself together. That's that's all I can think of. Maybe let's see what happens if I try it without. You know, the worst that can happen is I can always order another one of these, right? No, I guess the worst that can happen is it'll just sort of break apart and get all over the place. Oh, something something let go. Well, you know what happened? The uh, the first one, the 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 threads the threads slipped on it. So uh, yeah, the the threads slipped on the first one. So um, okay. But I, I am positive that this is supposed to come apart. Do, do any of you viewers know for sure? It, it doesn't, doesn't look like... Let me... Uh, I don't know if I can move in and keep it in focus or not, but uh, it looks to me like it's supposed to uh, come apart. Okay, so now we go that way to tighten. Okay, we're back to normal. Well, I tried, right? Now, using that wire and toothpick that we were using earlier, I've made myself, you might say, a little pipe cleaner. Now, if you will remember, yesterday I was having a little bit of a problem getting this uh, part to fit over top of the uh, positioning pin on the deck. And I think it was Steve was mentioning that if you take and uh, and just sort of uh, ease over the edge here, just 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 a little bit. I don't think we need to do very much. Just sort of get it uh, started here. And then I want to try out that uh, that new glue. The other hand, maybe I should use to try out the Tamiya glue. I gotta be careful now how I hang on to this thing or I'm gonna break these things off. 
So I'm looking in my monitor right now to see if everything's lined up and it looks pretty good, but in the background I see the spray and cure bottle and I'm realizing that we never did follow through on our experiment. So we gotta do that sometime. Don't know if we'll do it today. Now, let's just do a dry run here. Now don't press down too hard. It, uh, you know, I'm wondering if when I put this little part on here, did I maybe have it too close to the positioning pin because it just doesn't want to quite go on. When I try to, you know, bend it back, it just, maybe I'm going to have to uh, ream that hole up just a little bigger. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the, the wall is just a little bit th thinner there on the back side of this. Might go a little easier now. Yeah, I think we can get it down almost square. You know, I was going to use the new glue, but I think I'm going to use the the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin to soften the plastic on the inside of this, so that it kind of uh, melds it, melds itself more into shape. Because, and, and let's be careful not to break the uh, head off of any of the little. Martian pizza delivery guys. Okay. I think that's going to be okay. I'm just going to use the extra thin now. I'll let it out the dead spot. Now don't go breaking it. Yeah, I think once that all melts together, it'll be okay. I don't know, maybe I should put a little bit more on there, just... No, oh, maybe not. I guess I just uh, have to wait. Now a moment ago I went around the inside of this part here with a hobby knife to kind of enlarge the large the thing you might say. Okay, so this pin here has to go in that hole. We'll just do a dry run here to make sure. And the reason I'm doing this now is because I think it's going to be a lot easier to to put this on while it's uh well, it's off the ship because once we get it on the ship, it's more easy to accidentally break something else off. You know, you know me. Now, it, I think that maybe this is a place we could try out our new glue. And uh, yeah, just let me reposition everything here. Okay, if you will recall, that glue does not dry real, real fast. So we'll just try and go around. Is it plugged already? You know what, I think it's plugged already. Bear with me. Okay, a moment later. Here it comes. Maybe I should be practicing on Tony's mule instead of on this. Now, don't need to put too much on because then it's going to ooze out onto that, onto that, uh, onto the deck. Okay. I think we do probably have a moment here. Okay. I, I realize you didn't get to see me put it on there. Um. I think I've got it though. It looks, yeah, it looks it looks like it's seated all the way down to me. Okay, let's move on to another part. 
Now, I just want to mention here that I was noticing in yesterday's video that that one scene where I was repairing the uh, Martian pizza delivery guy, uh, yeah, the binoculars optical unit or whatever it's called, uh, yeah, I didn't have that scene uh, focused right. It was just kind of washed out and not sharp. That's, uh, yeah, I felt bad about that. Uh, that was actually a very important shot. Sorry about that. Okay, now this little thing that's protruding up, maybe if I tilt this back you can see it better. Like that. Okay, now if you remember on the other one, oh my goodness, it must be about two months ago now, we painted it black. So I think I'm just going to kind of very carefully just paint the end black. I don't know if I should use this brush or not. Probably not. Okay, this one makes more sense. Um, yeah, I'm just going to quickly mix this up and uh, we're just going to quickly do it. Okay, it's a little bit wobbly here, but I think it'll be okay. No, don't go down too far. Just sampling just a little bit more paint here. I don't want it to accidentally go running down either. Okay, maybe on the back there should I go just a little lower? How about right down there? Okay, I think we got it. And uh, once again for perspective here. Well, I think I'll just clean out my little brush here and uh, do the final edit. And I think that's going to be it for today. And as the song goes, the clock on the wall says that's all. Well, it went something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching folks. And all being well. We'll see you tomorrow.